What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of What's New in Scootering. I hope you guys missed me and hopefully you did enjoy Sean subbing in for me last week when I was on vacation. I'm super happy to be back and we have a ton of new product that I'm super excited to show you guys today. In today's video, we're gonna be covering the all new NV tri bearing wheels, some cool vault stuff, an all new Ryan Williams complete and the all new signature flavor decks. So let's get into it. They're kind of like, they're not heavy, but they're like beefier wheels. Insert explosion. First up is the all new Envy tri bearing wheels. So Envy released these about a month ago and um, they had been teasing them for a while now. I knew Envy was making a 30 wide wheel. However, I didn't know that they were gonna be integrating wheel tread. Yes, wheel tread guys. So it's pretty much the same thing as a BMX bike tire. So what this does is allow you to have more, more grip when you're like, carbon stuff and from what i've heard when you actually ride these in a bowl they actually make noise just like a bike tire which if you are a fan of bmx you're gonna enjoy that a lot it is a 30 wide wheel 30 wide at the core and 30 wide at the urethane by 120 and it also features an all new tri bearing system so this wheel actually has three bearings instead of your traditional two the reason for the tri bearing system is because it improves the impact distribution which will ultimately give your bearings more life i tried to actually take one of the bearings out so i could show you um how the system works however i had no luck and i didn't want to spend 10 minutes trying to bust out a bearing. So I'll somehow try to include something in here so you guys can see it. I will try to include it. James will try to Don't include try something. To take that credit. So it goes the first bearing, then an aluminum spacer, the second bearing, another aluminum spacer, an outer bearing ring, and then your third bearing. So it's a bit confusing and that's why I wanted to take a bearing out. However, I had no luck. Three bearings, 30 millimeter wide, 120 millimeter in diameter. This is the black on gold. This is clear on silver. This is white on neochrome. This is my favorite. This is teal on black. And this is gold on black. So it actually is a gold urethane. Some of them have Envy logos. I guess it's only clear. Well, the clear one has Envy logos on the actual core of the wheel. So you can see it through the urethane, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, these wheels are sold individually, just like all the other Envy wheels. So they're $44.95 a wheel. So if you do want to pick up a pair, make sure you do select the quantity of two and not one, because you're going to be bummed when one wheel shows up. One of the two vault things that I'm going to be showing you right now is not new. However, the new product which I am super proud of, is the newest edition of the vault scene. Story time, real quick. We were like two weeks from needing to send this off to be printed and I did not have a cover. I reached out to a few people and I ended up hitting up White Trash Willie. Will Cashton, you know, undialed, that guy. He's in the UK when I hit him up and I'm like, Will, I want you to have the cover. Can you get a photo? He goes, I don't have a photo, but as soon as I get home, I'll get one because he wanted to be riding a tilt deck in the photo. He's like, I have photos, but I'm not riding a tilt deck. And now that he rides for tilt, he wanted to have a tilt deck. And I was like, all right. I ended up going to Paris and I kind of don't reach out to him. And out of nowhere, I didn't even know he was home, but he hits me up at like four in the morning with this photo. And I, I honestly like couldn't have been more hyped. It's Will teabogging across airplanes airplanes. You got Clayton in the back. So if you guys obviously are a fan of Undialed, it's a cool little Easter egg. These guys are only a dollar. You can pick one up at checkout. We have interviews with Jesse Carter, interviews with the owner of Tilt. We have a lot of cool stuff and there is some ads for a new product such as the Envy tri bearing wheels. A lot of cool stuff. Pick one up for only a dollar and uh, yeah. Moving on is a product that we've had before and we are newly restocked. These are our infamous Team socks. These are socks with scooters on them. Look at that. And on the bottom, you got a you got a vault logo. I don't have high hopes that whoever is backing up in that truck is watching this video, but if you're watching this video, I don't like you. Are we good? They are black socks with white scooters. You got a vault logo on the bottom. And I can pretty much tell you that these are hands down some of the most comfortable socks that I've ever owned. They are $11.95 and they do come in an adult size, which I'm holding here. And we did also get youth sizes this time. So if you got smaller feet or you're like, you know, a young child, pick up the youth. And if you got big feet, they are pretty stretchy. Pick up the adult ones, but scooter socks, 
what more do you want? Before I do move on to the last two products in today's video, let's go check out some commons. Um, let's do the most expensive custom build. My comment has 500 likes. <laughs> All right, so I'm reading this comment from a user named NNN. NNN004 says, you should do the cheapest build. Um, I saw another comment when I was actually reading here not too long ago. We've done the cheapest custom build. I think it's been a okay, while. Have we done the the cheapest, cheapest? Build, like we've done fun. budget friendly yeah, custom those are two different things i don't think we've ever actually done the cheapest custom build um if you guys don't know i was actually planned to do the most expensive however my vacation schedule got in the way so maybe i'll do the cheapest custom maybe okay xander cl says i swear he only dropped the clamp so he could flex his balenciagas honestly dude <laughs> you like the comment too yeah. honestly i didn't know walter was wearing balenciagas i think it was very fitting for him to be doing the most expensive custom build and to be wearing balenciagas but honestly he probably did. By the way, for the viewers too, I think Walter messed up. The native Versa fork was in stock when he did that custom build. Really? Black on silver native Versa forks, 159.95. I saw another comment that said uh, that he should have used a non-square deck with and done four pegs. That's a good one. Because the Cory Funk deck is not squared, right? You're right. He used he used front pegs on the video, didn't he? Yeah. So then so he could have used back pegs. 40 with back pegs. And then this is the other thing. And this is only because I know it because I work on the site so much. But so if you're looking at the Versa fork, it says 130. So Walter is probably like, oh, the Versa fork is 130. However, if you click on it and you go to the black on silver, oh, it's 149. So it's more expensive. It's 10 oh. bucks more expensive. Okay. So the way you word it, it is the most expensive custom build we've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> it is not technically the most expensive custom build possible. <laughs> Let's go to budget forks. Alpha says, when are you guys gonna review the flavor sig decks? I don't know. This is just a nice comment coming from T Kelly. He says, bro, keep up the amazing vids. They help me with my customs and you guys are super cool. I wish I could go to the vault because that place looks so cool. Heart emoji. Yo, T Kelly. Thank you for the super sweet comment. I'm happy that the videos do help you. It's what we're trying to do here. And if you ever do have the opportunity to make it to LA, make sure you stop by the vault. Come say hi to everybody. We're here, dude. We love meeting you guys. Right, James? You love meeting him. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is it for comments in today's video. Let's move on to the next product, which is gonna be the all new complete by your favorite scooter rider, Ryan Williams. Initially, Ryan Williams dropped his own line with Nitro Circus. There was the R. Willy Replica Complete, which was the less expensive, smaller complete for the beginner rider. Then there was also the R. Willy Signature Complete, which had a bit bigger bars, a bit bigger deck. It was more of the scooter that he actually rode. And that was all cool. And there was like two other colors of that complete. However, they did just release this one, which we are calling the Nitro Circus R. Willy official pro scooter because I can't put signature in it. Otherwise it'll be mixed up with the other signature complete that we also sell. This is the closest thing you're gonna actually get to his signature scooter or the scooter that he is riding. And just pushing this guy through the warehouse, I can tell you, I'm super hyped on it. So the Nitro Circus R Willy official scooter, which is this guy here, does come in two sizes. There's a 540 millimeter and a 500 millimeter. I'm trying my best here to be very direct so you guys do not get confused. The difference in the size is primarily the deck. I will go through the general specs for both of them, starting with the 540 millimeter, which is this guy right here. It comes with a 5.1 inch wide deck by 21.25 inches long. So I believe that is what 540 millimeters is, 21.25. 5.1 by 21.25, it's a great size. It's actually a nice size deck, so I'm happy they did bump up past five. The bars on it come 26.4 inches tall by 25 inches wide. It is an aluminum bar, so you are riding SCS compression. It does come with a bar sleeve in the bar as well with a slit. So if you buy this complete and you wanna switch to IHC, you don't even have to cut a slit, you just take out the bar sleeve and you're good to go, which is awesome. The wheels are 28 millimeters wide by 120. However, the core is still 24 millimeters wide, so you can pretty much still ride it on 
any fork that can fit the wider urethane without needing spacers. It comes in black, as you can see here, or a gold, which is pretty much the same exact scooter, except it has the gold deck. And last but not least, the 540 comes in at $299.95. So that is the 540. Let's move into the 500. It's relatively the same thing, except for the deck size and the bar height. Everything else is completely the same. On the 500 millimeter, you're getting a 5.1 wide deck, just like the 540, but you're getting a 19.7 long deck, so it's a little bit shorter. And when it comes to bar height, you're getting 22.8 inches tall by 22.8 inches wide. So it's smaller, it's a bit toned down. So if this is too big, there is an option for you. It still rides the aluminum bar, got the bigger wheels, and the smaller size comes in at 289.95 and black or gold. If you are a bigger rider, definitely go for the 540. Um, if you're a bit of a smaller rider, go for the 500. <sighs> Let me cough. Okay, what's next? Flavor decks. So Flavor Scooters did just release four brand new signature decks. They were a bit quiet in the industry and then out of nowhere, they released four decks and one of them is actually our boy Andrew Zamora's signature. Andrew Zamora, if you guys don't know, has been riding and working for the vault for like three or four years now. He's an absolute shredder. He's been riding for Flavor for a long time and we were super pumped to hear that he had a signature deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I could go into all of the specs and tell you about it, but who better than Andrew himself? Thanks, Austin. So I'm Andrew and I'm here to just talk about the deck real quick. This is my signature flavor deck. Thank you to Flavor for that. I'm very blessed to have something like this. Real quick, the specs are 22.75 long by 5.5 wide. The head tube angle is about 83 degrees. It's compatible up to 120 by 24 millimeter wheels. Onto the graphic, we have this underwater LAX, LA, Los Angeles type of thing, um, which is my home. I think of the beach and the airport as kind of like my home base. I have airplanes going directly over my house every three minutes. And it's funny you should mention the planes right now. Look at that. <laughs> Airplane. <laughs> what up guys? It's funny, um, one day we were working, Austin came by and we started doc talking about some ideas because it was in the works and Austin gave me the idea to do this whole like underwater LAX LA type deal. And I said, damn, that's pretty interesting. I got in contact with Louis V. I don't know if you guys know him, but if you don't, check him out. Louis V on Instagram. Great work. He came up with this whole thing and I said, that's it, that's the one. So I'm pretty stoked on how this turned out. As far as how the deck feels, I've been riding it for about three months now and it feels great. I hope you like it as much as we do. Thanks for having me. Back to you, Austin. All right, thank you, Andrew, for those awesome words. That is Andrew's deck, let's move on to the others. So let's move on to Jack McCann. If I'm mispronouncing your name, dude, I'm so sorry, but I believe it is McCann. His deck, along with Danny Roberts and Andrew's, are identically the same from the top. The only difference is gonna be the graphic on the bottom and the length. So you're still gonna get the same head tube angle, the same 5.5 width, the same wheel diameter, the same dropouts, everything. However, Jack McCann's, instead of being 22.7 like Andrew's, he decided to go with 22.5 because that's just his preferred dimension. So. This is Jack McCann's graphic. Um, we're gonna get demonetized for this. Louis V did design this one as well, which is awesome that they're keeping it in the scooter industry. So Louis V designed Andrew's graphic and he also did this one. You got this, this natural smoke, you know, with his name. It's pretty cool. You know, you got palm trees. I like palm trees. Jack McCann's graphic. Moving on to one of my favorites as well. This is Danny Roberts' signature deck. Once again, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is gonna be the length of the deck and the graphic. Danny decided to go with a 22 inch long deck and his graphic is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie, this is like a deck that I would hang up on like my wall at home because it's like a little, it's like an art piece, you know what I mean? You got the wolf with like the sun and the moon and his like initials here. It's a super sick graphic. So Danny, you killed it. I don't know who designed it, but they killed it. And uh, once again, there's very few of these in the US. So if you want it, Buy it now. Moving on to the last of the Flavor Signature decks is gonna be Boris Jemaine's deck. Uh, Boris has been riding for Flavor since I can remember. Um, he is an absolute shredder and he has also had his own signature bar and fork and I believe a previous signature deck. However, this is the 
newest one. This is the only one out of all the decks that I showed you today that is actually different for the most part. Boris's deck comes 5.5 inches wide just like the rest. However, it is 22.25 inches long and it does not have square dropouts. I believe Boris is a fan of riding four pegs, so he wanted to not have the square dropouts so he could ride pegs of his choice. However, general specs are exactly the same as all the other ones. Max is 120 millimeter by 24 millimeter wide wheels and it has an 83 degree head tube angle. Boris does have the Dissidents logo on the top of the deck. Dissidents um, obviously is the scooter shop in France um, that hosts Coalition and stuff like that. So he's a part, he's a, he plays a very big part in that. Cool little Easter egg that he does have the Dissidents logo there on the top. And moving on to his graphic. So you got like a, a wolf like bursting through some stuff and you got like shrapnel flying everywhere, but there is a wolf. You got the ears and the, and the jaw and the, and the top. There's his eye. It's a cool graphic. I like how everybody's just putting wolves on their deck. Jabba wolf deck, Boris wolf deck, Danny wolf deck. There's a wise deck with a wolf on it. Y'all are killing it. Wolves are tight. If you want to support Boris, pick up one of these decks at the link down below. Alrighty, so that has been it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I showcased some new parts you guys didn't know were out and hopefully you guys do want to cop. All the links for everything I showed you today will be down below. So make sure you guys check those out and make sure you guys do head over to our website and check out all the other parts that we sell. Make sure you guys do smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to The Vault for more content. And if you guys like me, my Instagram will be down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.